it. And do you know why Dad's going to fall? Because of his MS. To help his MS. Early in their lives, Duncan Thornton's children are learning about a complex disease, multiple sclerosis. I've got, I've got a three-year-old girl and I've got a five-year-old boy, and I want to be around and I want to be involved in their lives. Thornton is a well-known author of children's books. He was diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome in his 20s, but then his health deteriorated. This past summer, he was diagnosed with MS. He's now 48. His brother Evan had been living with the disease for years. Then suddenly they had more in common than they thought. I felt that I could be of use to him because I had had it for a long time. So I thought that, you know, if, if it had to happen, if it had to happen, and maybe it was sort of a blessing that it was the same condition. Shortly after Duncan Thornton was diagnosed, news broke of a controversial new surgery and a new way of thinking about MS. An Italian doctor believed widening the veins in a patient's neck with a tiny balloon or stents could stall or even alleviate symptoms. It suddenly became very important to do a lot of thinking about, about it because um, it, seemed, it seemed pretty convincing and, um, and, and to think that there was a strong chance to think that there was just a strong chance that it was true may, meant that it was instantly and automatically the most important thing for me and the most important thing for my family to find out whether I really did think it was true. It happens in medicine every few decades that um, that there's a paradigm shift and this is a this is a new understanding of the disease it's even a new name for the disease. Instead of writing, Duncan began plotting how he and his brother could have this surgery. He found a clinic in Poland. <laughs> Who's going to Poland? Daddy and Uncle Evan. <laughs> in Canada, the surgery isn't done for very good reasons, says MS specialist Dr. Ruth Ann Mary. It's also important to remember that we don't actually really know very much about this treatment yet, and there are risks. So death is a very big risk. It may be a small percentage risk, but it is a real risk and it's already happened to one person. And so there is value to waiting. The brothers aren't waiting. I like the fact that doctors are cautious, but for people with MS, um, you know, it's a progressive illness. Again, you know, I'm worse, significantly worse than I was two years ago. Um, at this point, that was a bet I, I really wanted to take. Some may say the Thornton brothers are brave. Perhaps that too runs in the family. I'm going to miss him, but I won't cry. We're going to be following the Thornton brothers on their journey. We have a producer going with them to Poland. He'll be there as the Thornton brothers receive the surgery, and we'll show you what happens right here on CBC News Winnipeg.